Hey, what's going on everybody? This is Tyrone back with Tech Life and in today's video, I just wanted to give you guys a brief breakdown of every carrier's total spectrum holdings in the US. And just right off the back, um, you know, as you can see here, Sprint has the most spectrum out of any carrier in the US and perhaps the world. They're sitting at 204 megahertz and 152 of that is pure 2.5 band 41. So, you know, anybody that would be looking at this video would be like, whoa, Sprint is the number one carrier in the U.S. You know, they could be, you know, with this type of spectrum, they really could be. But, you know, due to money constraints and uh, Network Vision 1 causing them to lose a lot of customers, it ended up not being that way. But they're getting back on track. And in the future... It could be one of the best networks that we see this generation, but you know that that's not a fact. It's just my my opinions and speculations based on all the spectrums that uh, spectrum that they have. In second place is AT and T with 155 megahertz, so they have a little bit of low band, mid band, high band mix. So that's definitely good for AT and T. Currently, you know they're really not taking the uh, approach to densifying. At least from the research that I've done, I haven't seen any big densification from them. What they're doing is they're using their spectrum assets on, on these towers to really, you know, increase speeds in, in areas that are congested. So you're, I'm, I'm already seeing here in El Paso three-way carry aggregation between band 12, 4, and 2. So that's at and approach. It's working for now. But once they start adding more and more customers, they are going to have to densify as well, you know, to keep up with the demand. Verizon in third place at 114 megahertz. We already know Verizon's a uh, different monster investing close to like 15 billion uh, a year on the network. So they're already densifying heavily. Small sales are in the works. I've seen just to give you guys an update i've seen a small cell project of verizons in milwaukee they're literally adding small cells every half a mile so there's a small cell then there's another one then there's another one literally every half a mile so you know verizon is, is a whole whole different monster that's why you know you pay for what you get with them you're paying a bigger price but you're getting a much better network and just my you know my opinion on on density i think with density you're more in control of the network in a city to where you know maybe a sector or a tower is congested you add spectrum onto it and then you're good to go again to where if you're not dense you know you're not densified in the city you're gonna have to tap into your spectrum quite a bit to get the tower back up and running to normal speeds just for for an example in my area t-mobile as you see here they have the lowest amount of spectrum in the entire u.s here in my area i know t-mobile says that the densest network in the entire united states which is true in some cases but then for instance here in el paso t-mobile is very dense along i-10 there's a tower like almost every mile but here in the far northeast where i stay they're not not as much dense as they are on i-10 so they're lacking some towers in the northeast so what do they have to do they have to make up for it by adding a bunch of spectrum on on the tower to cover a much larger area because if you're not dense that tower covers covers much more so that tower could be covering a housing area you know an area where there's a walmart and then another uh, you know and then perhaps a highway or anything like that and for example my area that tower that's congested across the street is a is a mall a little strip mall with a walmart ross wendy's so a busy area there and then it covers the highway and then it covers a housing area so if you're not very dense there you're gonna have to add a tremendous amount of spectrum you know to keep the area running smoothly now when your network is dense you know you might have that tower covering a certain area there and then you have another tower about a half a mile down that picks up the slack on on the housing area 
So if one of those gets uh, congested, you just add a spectrum on one of them, and then the other one will still run smoothly again. So <clears throat> if that makes sense to you, is what you know. That's why I believe density is is a huge, huge thing going forward as far as the small cells. That's why low band on Sprint and T-Mobile is really not that effective because as most of you know, it is called extended range LTE. So it reaches out further, but since the bandwidth is so low, by the time it gets to the end of where it reaches, you know, it's all the speeds are almost unusable because it, it, in between that it's carrying so much, so many users on that band that it just can't keep up anymore. So definitely a lot of work to do for uh, T-Mobile there and Sprint, of course, as well. So as you can see, this is the breakdown here. I think this is just my opinion. As you can see off to the right, there's Dish Network. They're sitting on 76 megahertz of spectrum, which, you know, Dish Network is not using. So I think eventually the FCC is going to make uh, Dish Network make a decision, either use the spectrum or give it up. So this is what I'm hoping for. And this is just my opinion. I know you guys have seen a merger between Sprint, T-Mobile. You know, I, I don't think it'll happen because it'll be too much of a of a mess. You know, I, I think personally they have they each have crazy amounts of debt. So I think if you combine their debt, their debt amount goes over to 100 100 billion. So that's ridiculous. So they would probably have to sell almost half of, of the 2.5 spectrum just to cover that debt. So, and then a lot of people would lose jobs. You know, Trump doesn't like, you know, companies losing jobs, so I don't even know if he'll approve the deal. He might, you know, he might, but this is what I think should happen. T-Mobile is growing. You know, there's no doubt in that. They're growing at a, at a fast pace. Their finances are getting better. They've raised their, uh, their plans already. T-Mobile One is... I mean, I know it's unlimited, but by the time I was done paying T-Mobile One, and I didn't even have the, the HD, I had the standard, I was paying like $95. On, this, on the HD pass, I would, like if I would, not the HD pass, but the, uh, like your phone being the standard H high definition, I would have been paying like $120, $125, which is right up there with, with Verizon. Like a the the 24 gigabyte plan, I believe was like 130. I know it's not unlimited, but 24 gigs plus two free a month has 26. I think that's a pretty decent amount for the same price as T-Mobile on a better network. You know, I think <clears throat> I think a lot of people would uh, would agree that you know why not switch to Verizon, but. I think T-Mobile should purchase Dish's Spectrum. So this is just my opinion. You know, let me know in the comment section down below. You know, once they <clears throat> combine that Spectrum with T-Mobile's, I think they have a much better chance at, at competing in the future. But, I mean, that's just me. I could be, uh, I could be wrong, but I think, I think that'll happen. Because I don't, uh, if not, I think even a Verizon will make a move on it and purchase that Spectrum. So I think T-Mobile needs to go ahead and uh, purchase that Spectrum and, <clears throat> you know, make put it into use. Dish Network is just sitting on it. So that's definitely not doing them any good. So I would, you know, if I was T-Mobile, Deutsche Telekom, I would purchase their Spectrum, put it to use, and just keep it getting better and better every day. So... So this is my breakdown of each carrier spectrum. So, you know, give it a thumbs up. You know, like, share, and subscribe. Uh, our rising testing will start Tuesday, so stay tuned for that. I will also have an unboxing video of a new phone, so also subscribe for that. And um, this is Tyrone with Tech Life, and I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.